Hi everyone, welcome to another Creative Suite online tutorial. In this lesson I'll be teaching you guys how to create a navigation bar in Adobe Dreamweaver Creative Cloud. So as you can see what I have in front of us, what I have in front of me, is um, basically what we are going to try and create in this online tutorial. It's the navigation bar and as you can see it has five buttons. Search, product, services, contact us and find us. Um, yeah, basically it's pretty neat, it's got a hover over state. So basically once I hover over the buttons with my mouse, you see that it changes color. Yeah, it's pretty neat and we are going to create this in Creative Cloud. So let's get started, let's open up Dreamweaver. Let's go to File, create a new HTML document. And the first thing I want to do is insert a div. So I want to go over to my inserts pane, go to structure, go to div, and where it says ID, I want to give it the ID of navbar. I want to click OK. And then I want to get rid of the content for ID navbar goes here. So I want to delete that. Once I've done that, I'll go back to my inserts pane and I'll click on unordered list. As you can see, once I've clicked on that, a bullet pops up. And basically what this bullet, bullet uh, indicates is basically how many points or bullets will be in our list. So because there are, we are going to create a navigation bar with five buttons, we're going to create five um, bullets or five points. So let's start, let's get started. Let's type in search products, services, case study, and contact us. Just like that. So we have five bullets because we have five buttons. Now what I want to do now is I want to go over to my CSS designers pane where it says sources. I want to click on the plus icon that says add CSS source. I want to click that a drop down menu will pop up and I want to click on define in page. I then want to click on style, go down to the selectors pane, I want to click on the plus icon which tells me to add a selector. So what we'll be doing is be, we'll be adding a selector. I will then add the selector of hash navbar with a capital N UL for unordered list. I'll hit enter. So once I've done that, I'll go to my properties pane beneath the selectors pane. I'll enlarge my properties pane to show you guys what's going on. And I'll click on this others icon or this others button. Below where it says list style type, it'll have it as uh, it'll have it set to undefined. I want to click on that and I want to click on none. So I want to change that undefined to none. Basically what that allowed me to do, it was basically, it allowed me to get rid, rid of those bullets or those points. Just like that, that's what we want. Okay, once you've done that, let's go to selectors. Let's add another selector. I'll type in A for link. I'll hit the enter key. Then once I've created that new selector, I'll go to Properties. I'll go back to my Properties pane. And I'll give it the following um, description. So I'll go to Text, where it says Text Color. I'll give it the color of hash B1, B1, B1. Just like that where it says font style I'll set it as oblique where it says weight or the font weight I'll set it to 900 the font size I'll set it to large and I will align that or text where it says text align I will align that in the center just like that I will also go down to where is it? 
trying to find it where it says text transform I will tr transform all that to uppercase just like that now as you can see it hasn't really done anything to the text and that's because those, that text is not a link yet so it's just text it's not a link because I typed in a in the selectors pane for link basically the properties panel um, all the the properties that I've changed is basically describing what the link looks like not the actual text so let's go ahead and change the text to links and we can do that an easy way of doing that is selecting all of this just like that going over to window selecting our properties pane or panel and where it says link down below you'll, you'll see this um, inserts uh, I guess panel where it says link if and basically you can go to browse for file right here but you would want to do that by selecting each individual um, text then going to browse for file but f um, for tutorial sake I'll keep it rather short and I'm gonna uh, select the entire text I'll go to link and I'll add a dummy link by pressing the hash key and what this hash key does it gives it basically allows the um, the text to work as a link without having it assigned a legitimate link address if that makes any sense so once I've done that I'll click anywhere and as you can see because it's changed to a link the um, it's changed its properties just like that and that's what we want so what I want to do again is I want to go to back to my selectors pane so I want to go to sources click on style go to my selectors pane and add another selector this time I'll have it as navbar A I'll hit enter and I want to go to layout where it says auto I'll go to percentage sorry where it says layout and width I want the width to be selected as a percentage and I want it because we have five buttons I want it set as 20 percent if you had four buttons you'd have it selected as 25 percent if that makes any sense once I've done that I'll go to display and where it says inline I want to replace that with block what block allows it me to do is instead of having the um, text as a click as clickable um, I have the entire box so I have the entire box clickable as a link not just the text I then want to go to I then want to float that to the left just like so and what that allows you to do it rearranges um, the buttons in line just like that pretty sweet okay just like that um, but what we have now we have a problem that it's underlined and we I didn't want it as underlined so I'll go back to um, my a selector I'll go to text and where it says text decoration I'll select it as none so where it says text decoration I'll select it as none and that gets rid of the underline okay so one thing I forgot to do was to add a background color to my navigation bar so what I'll do is uh, I'll basically do that right now I'll go back to my selectors pane click on style I'll go back to navbar A go to background color and I'll select black basically that changes the background color to black and that's what we want so what we want to do now is we want to create that rollover state so once you roll over your mouse over each button it will change color basically telling you you're, you know you're going to select this button so um let's do that right now let's go to our selectors pane once again and add a selector so this time I'll type in hash navbar a for link 
colon, I'll type in hover, apostrophe, a for link again, colon again, this time I'll type in active, just like that, I'll type in apostrophe again, a for link again, this time I'll type in focus, just like that, I'll hit enter, now once I've created that selector, I'll select that selector, and I'll go to background, and where it says background color, I'll give it a light darkish, uh, sorry, a lightish gray color, just like that. So let's see if that works. Let's go to live view, and as you can see, once I roll over each button, it changes to that color. Yep, that's that's basically it. So let's preview that in our browser. So I'll save this just like that. Preview in Firefox. And as you can see, we now have our navigation bar with our rollover states. And that's it. Um, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to um, ask them in the comment section of this video. Please subscribe to my channel, more tutorials will be coming up, and please like the video. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.